What is going on everybody? In this video, I'm going to explain nested if statements in Java. In Java, it is possible to have if statements within other if statements. Kind of like this. After checking some condition, you could follow with another condition, if the first condition is true. You can add if statements, else if statements, and or else statements really depends on the program that you're trying to write. So what we're going to do in this demonstration is have two Boolean variables, a Boolean of is student. Let's say that we're selling movie tickets. If somebody's a student, they get a 10% discount on their movie ticket. We also have a senior discount. Boolean is senior. If somebody is 65 or older, they get a 20% senior discount. Or if they're a student and a senior, they get a combined total of 30% off their ticket price. Let's say we have a double of price. The price of a movie ticket will be $9.99, let's say. That's actually kind of cheap nowadays. We'll write an if statement to check to see if somebody is a student. If is student is equal to true. But since this is a Boolean variable, we don't need the equals true portion. We can just say if is student. I will go ahead and set this to be true right away. So if somebody is a student, they get a student discount. Else they won't. So if is student is true, let's output the following. You get a student discount of 10%. Then we will take our price, price equals price, times 0 0.9. That will give you a 10% discount. You could shorten this using the augmented assignment operator, price times equals 0 0.9. That will set the price to be 90%, or a 10% discount, so to say. If somebody is not a student, they're going to pay full price. Price times equals 1. That really doesn't do anything, but it might help with this visualization. Then we'll output the following. The price of a ticket is... Pick a unit of currency, then I'll add our price. Let's perform a test run. Currently we're a student. You get a discount of 10%. The price of a ticket is $8.99. To limit the amount of digits that display, let's use a printf statement. We'll use printf instead of print line. After the dollar sign, I will add a format specifier. We're going to display a double. We'll use f for a floating point number, comma price. To display two digits after the decimal, use point two. Now we can display a price. You get a student discount of 10%. The price of a ticket is $8.99. Now, if we weren't a student, I'll set this to be false. We don't get that discount. The price of a ticket is $9.99, what it was originally. Now, what if somebody is a senior and a student? Within our if statement, we'll write a nested if statement, as well as an else statement. If is senior, they get a student discount and a senior discount. Let's cut these two lines within the if statement and stick them within the nested else statement. If somebody is a senior and a student, you get a senior discount of 20% and a student discount of 10%. So let's take our original price times equals 0 0.7 and an additional 10% off the original. So let's say is senior is true for now. Okay, else if they're not a student, but they are a senior, we'll check that with a nested if statement within the else statement. If is senior, they get that senior discount. 
but it's only 20% instead of 30, because they're not also a student. Price times equals 0 0.8. You could add else. Price times equals 1. That's if somebody is not a student and not a senior. But you don't necessarily need this else statement. All right, let's perform a test run. Let's say that we're not a student and not a senior. The price of a ticket is $9.99. What if we were a student but not a senior? You get a student discount of 10%. The price of a ticket is $8.99. What if we're not a student but we are a senior? You get a senior discount of 20%. The price of a ticket is $7.99. What if we're both a student and a senior? You get a senior discount of 20%. You get a student discount of 10%. The price of a ticket is $6.99. That's how nested if statements can be useful. You could check another condition after checking a condition already. So that's just one example of nested if statements. And well, everybody, those are nested if statements in Java.